My name is Camilla. I live with my mother. My father, after the car crash, left. It's just me and her, my beloved mother. Lately she's been sad and looking very unhappy. A few weeks ago, like I said, we were involved in a car crash. Luckily we were all okay. A few cuts and bruises, but okay. Emotionally, I cannot say the same. Seeing my father abandoning us was very devastating to both me and mother. After he left, she started forgetting doing things around the house. There would be days that she wouldn't cook for us. I mean, I could help, I didn't mind. She was also drinking more wine than usual. I could have sworn there were days I felt she didn't even notice me. I would pass by her in the morning, and she would say nothing. She looked sleepy and tired. I found some pills she was taking before sleeping. I didn't like those. They made her sleep all the morning. One night I woke up to go for a glass of water. And as I walked the upstairs corridor, I could swear she was crying in the bedroom. I wanted to knock on the door to see if she was all right. But I was afraid of seeing her like this. I think she was like this because of Dad. She was always grabbing a picture of the three of us and looking at it for long periods of time. I blame my father for leaving us. We were so happy, the three, together. I decided I was going to call my father and tell him to come home. That mother needed him, that I needed him. Yes, we are going to be a family again. I picked up the phone to make the call, but as I do it, I see mother going to the door. I put the phone down and went after her. I see her getting into the car, so I enter the car as well and went with her. I tried to ask her where we were going, but to no avail. She just drove. So I sat in silence and waited to see what was her destination. A few minutes passed and we arrived somewhere. She parked the car and got out. Again, I went after her, following close behind. We approached an iron gate and walked to it and kept walking inside. When we arrived inside, I saw that we were in a graveyard. Why were we in a graveyard? She kept walking until she approached one of the graves. I was behind her, so I couldn't see the name engraved. I walked to the side and when I saw the name on the grave, a feeling of desperation and pain took control of me. The name was of my father, Peter. I couldn't believe what I was watching. My mother lied to me? He was dead? I looked at my mother, and I see that she's not looking at my father's grave now. She was looking at the one on the side. I looked at it and saw my name, Camilla, and a picture of me.